Also hitting with a hammer makes the camera drop as well. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog today. We got some cleanup stuff going on and we are actually working on the pallets today. I'm getting them broke down with this pry bar and this hammer. I've gotten some of them off already. They aren't too bad. These aren't twisted nails, so they're popping apart pretty easy. I've got a fire over here right now. We're trying to get rid of a bunch of scrap wood. As a woodworker, you just accumulate wood and you think you're gonna use it and over time you never do. So it just kind of builds up and I brought it all outside one day over the summer and I haven't done anything with it and I need to go ahead and get it all burnt down or either thrown out but burning it in the burn barrel is better right now it's just a lot simpler so I've got all this scrap wood right here that I've got to get rid of this little box thing that I made to hold the scrap wood that's all got to get out of here so I've got the pallet stuff going on and hopefully I'll be starting the build on the coffee table this week. One thing that helps a lot with pallets when you're trying to remove the stuff isn't necessarily just using the force of you pushing trying to pry up the wood. Sometimes the combination of the vibration from the hammer hitting and prying at the same time really helps out. So sometimes if you're close to getting it all the way off the board like separated, sometimes just leaving that pressure and prying and hitting at the same time. So look at that. Look at how easy that was. <laughs> But the vibration helps loosen and as you're prying the vibration helps wiggle up that screw and that not only goes for pallets but also other types of like nuts and bolts sometimes if you just have a hammer and just tap in the vibration kind of shakes things up and loosens all your all the um the friction of everything where it's connected and it'll really help get everything loosened up and it comes apart a lot easier well, I got one pallet almost totally deconstructed. Here is what I've gotten out of it. These are about an inch and a quarter thick. And these things are going to be the legs for the coffee table. I've gotten, I'm going to be getting six of these. So there's plenty of them in case I do screw up. Or such as this one. This one's got a bad edge on it. But I might be tapering some of these. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. But there's, these are about four feet in length they've all got the nail still in them so they've got to get pulled out a different day but they're small strips wide strips so what i got lucky with is that these thin little runners have little staples in them so these were on top of the staples easily able to be pried off makes it really simple when you're doing pallets this couldn't get any easier this is a very simple job as I'm going, I'm taking these little pieces right here and tossing them right into the fire. I'm cutting them up and just throwing them in the fire. And I mean, the clean up after it is gonna be very simple. So I've got what I'm gonna use and then I'm gonna burn whatever I don't use. That was quite a bit of work trying to get all that disassembled. But here is what I have. I have plenty of material to make the legs. And these actually might be the stretchers as well, but here's some of the top and sides and everything else. One of these bigger ones will be the side. I can glue all these up into the top as well as some of these wider pieces. I had perfect timing because as I'm finishing up, I'm also finishing up that pile of scrap wood in the fire barrel. It's been quite hot standing over here, but now I gotta quit playing around though and we gotta get ready. We're gonna go do another trunk or treat at another church. This is the last one. And then tomorrow is actual Halloween. We're gonna do trick or treating around the neighborhood. And then we're actually gonna set up and maybe scare kids, maybe not. I don't really know what we're doing. 
but we are going to be giving away some candy later in the night. So off we go on our last night for trunk or treating, and then we got actual Halloween tomorrow. Uh -huh. We are at our last trunk or treat for this year, third one. They got more stuff here than even at the last one. They got two hay rides going. They got bouncy houses. It's not every day that you see a flipping see. minion. And I see more. Oh. This one's got a lot more games here. Look at the big frog thing over there. Put it in, Magic Man. Woo! Good shot. Yeah, pick the nose to get the candy. This one right here is probably the best. Look at all the Ghostbusters. How cool is that? Four. 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 Ah, over there. That's so cool. Look at their bags. Turn around real quick so I can see your bag. Look at that. That's so creative. Look, they even got the little, what is that thing called? Proton pack. That's right. That's awesome. That one was a lot better. That was probably the best one. Look, look sweet. Almost full buckets. Almost full buckets? Which one was your favorite? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. My mom's? No. Ghostbusters. Disney. Oh, Disney, Disney and Ghostbusters. Yeah, and it had the apple oil. The poison apple. So we're making a last second trip into the Dollar Tree trying to get some little Halloween decorations for tomorrow, like some caution tape signs, stuff like that. Kind of make a little walkway so that nobody walks through our yard because I love my grass. I wonder if I should get a pirate outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't wear that. There's capes, babe. Yeah, but I can't wear a cape with that mask. It's three and up. <laughs> <laughs> it won't fit me. It will. No, oh, what? Look, hey, let's get a sign like this. Oh, nice. Or, yeah, I know. Yeah, you do like, no, it's got a scythe or something. And do what with it? Yeah. Like, chop at people? Put kids. <laughs> <laughs> or look, no, I thought I got that, but you want this? I guess. I gotta have something to go with it. Yeah. I got the face and I don't have anything else. Okay, here you go. Oh, wait. Put in there. Should we get one of these? I would just get one. I'll get or one two? Or yeah. We'll get three. How are you going to line up? I don't know. It says steaks are included. They can burn out. Do we need any of these special things? For the carving tonight? Yeah, I already got some, but those have... Might as well get one more. What did, oh, he can... They, you shove that in there to make the triangle. That's holes. right. So that'd be good for the boys. Yeah. But no, we're starting to cut them. We got to cut the top of the pumpkin so we can take a spoon and Dad, cut you're it still out. Dad, you All right, so now we got the knife. We're going to cut off the top. And come up with hopefully a creative face on all of our pumpkins, right, guys? Yeah! Yes! Okay, so they're all done, right? Everybody's out here? Yep. Let's check them all out, see what they look like. How long did it did, did this take? Like an hour. No, probably like two hours, family time. An hour and a half. Yeah. And look at them. Hi, this right here is the youngest ones. Move back, buddy. This one is the next youngest. Then the next youngest. The oldest kid. Yeah! This is Nicole's, and that one is mine. I haven't seen yours yet. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's got the ghost. I like mom. And What's the bat. What's supposed to be? The bat? No, look, there's a face 
on the bottom and then there's a bat on top. Oh, cool. I like that. And then you have a ghost oh, I and see a bat. It more. I see it more now. Okay. A smiley face right here, heart on the side. That one actually looks like a little monster. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to. This is supposed to be eyes right there and right there, but that didn't work out. So you just made that I think mine is the coolest. And what's yours? Uh, it's the devil. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a dragon. It is. Yeah, it looks like, like a dragon. Like one of those things that like are in a Chinese parade. Yeah, yeah but those eyebrows though. And what's yours? A cat with a pumpkin it's Perfect butt. drawing. You can tell exactly. <laughs> it is. It's got a little face on the butt. It's a pumpkin butt. It's a pumpkin <laughs> butt. But I like mine because the eyes fell off, so I had to cut them. So now it's like Peter Brian. Ah. Careful. And what's yours? Nose and mouth and eye and eyes. Oh, very oh. good drawing. And, you did an excellent and, job. And da, da. Yep, and that's the top. And the dots. Yep. Yeah. So all of these were cut by all the children by themselves. Nobody really helped them, which was really amazing. I was surprised that they did that good. This is our first year of cutting it for everybody. And hey, next using all like the little knives and everything like that, Tomorrow so everybody did a great some, job. Dad. So we had a really time. good time spending the time together and carving all this out. I hope you guys enjoyed the little time lapse of it and just saw how much fun we had through it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, all the trunk or treating that we've done tomorrow is the big day. Is actually Halloween tomorrow, so we'll actually go trick or treating around, and we'll do the candy here as well, giving it out to kids. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed the weekend. Hope you guys have an excellent week, and we'll talk to you guys next time. I don't mind